Are you getting frustrated because no matter what you do to optimize your Google business profile, it never appears at the top of Google Maps? What if I told you there's a simple, easy hack you can use to turn your luck around almost overnight? and you don't need any special skills to implement it. In today's video, I'm going to reveal what this simple hack is, how any business owner can quickly apply it to their Google business profile, and how effective it really is. But first, let me reassure those of you who are worried about using a hack to climb to the top spot on Google Maps and concerned about potential risks to their listing. This technique is 100% legitimate and completely risk-free. I know how important your Google business listing is and would never suggest anything that could compromise it. Now, the hack. After working with dozens of business owners, I've noticed that they're all trying to be number one on Google Maps for their main service in their city, which makes sense, right? But there's a catch. Only one can be at the top. In competitive fields, it's hard to get there and even harder to stay there. For example, ranking number one for personal injury attorney in New York is a tough nut to crack. You'll need a ton of different SEO moves, not to mention time and money. And in big cities, being number one is not always the best. If potential clients find out you're a two-hour trek across town, they'll look for another business close by. The fastest way to hit the number one spot on Google Maps to attract more local customers at zero cost is by simply adding the services you provide to your listing. But not just any services, what we call in SEO lingo predefined services. These are services Google links directly to your business based on your business categories. To find out what these are, log in to the Google Business account associated with your Google Business Profile and search for your business, then click on the Edit Services icon you'll see a list of services already added. Look for the Add More Services link, click it, and you'll see more services suggested by Google based on your categories. These are the predefined services I was talking about. And guess what? They are a ranking factor. Adding them helps your listing get found when people search for them on Google Maps. Google will prompt you to add relevant services. Do it and save your changes. Don't add services you don't provide as it is pointless. Repeat this process for each category on your profile if you have more than one. But here is the kicker. Since the predefined services you can add are based on your business categories, if you add more categories, you'll have access to more predefined services. And the good news is, Google lets you add up to 10 categories to your listing, so why not make the most of it? Almost every time I audit a client's Google business profile, I spot categories they've missed. This means they're missing out on more ways to get found on Google Maps. The reason they are missing out is because business categories are also a ranking factor and an important one too. If you want to find out what other categories you could be adding to your profile, I've got a tried and tested method I use myself and suggest you give it a shot. It's a great way to find those extra categories that could give your listing a boost. Head over to the Google Chrome Store and search for an extension called GMB Everywhere. I've put the link to it in the description below. Once you've got it installed, open Google Maps and do a search related to what your business does. Let's say, for example, you're a plumber. GMB Everywhere will show you all the business categories used by your competitors in the search results. It's like a nifty way to check what categories your competitors are using that you might not have thought of. Here is a typical example of a business that is missing out big time, as he only set one category for his business, but clearly provides many more services from what I can see on his website. Make a note of the categories that would be a good fit for you, so you can add them to your listing later on. Once you've checked out what categories your competitors are using with GMB Everywhere, there's more you can do to uncover additional category options. Say you're the plumber in this scenario, hit the Find More button on GMB Everywhere. This opens up the Category Finder tool where you can either pick from suggested categories related to your business or hunt for new ones based on what you've seen in your competitors' listings. This tool also shows a list of related services based on the categories you've chosen, giving you a heads up on other predefined services you might be able to add to your Google Business Profile. Once you've picked out all the categories that make sense for your business, note them down. Then head to your Google Business Profile and click Edit Profile. Under the Business Categories section, 
add any new categories you found and hit save. After Google approves your new categories, go back to your profile and click on the edit services icon. Your new categories will be there. Click on the add more services link under each new category to add any predefined services Google suggests that seem relevant to your business. This can really help your rankings on Google Maps when people are searching for those services. This whole process should only take a few minutes of your time, but can boost how visible you are on Google Maps enormously. How fast you'll see the difference depends on what kind of business you have, your market, and if you've thrown in some extra categories. In my own experience, I've seen some of my clients' listings jump up in visibility super quickly, sometimes in just a day. If you need further proof that this stuff works, check out this case study by Joy Hawkins from Sterling Sky, a top-notch local SEO agency. They tried this out with a bunch of their clients and saw results pop up in about 24 to 72 hours after making the changes in some super competitive verticals. The best way to figure out how this will play out for your own business is to keep an eye on your Google business performance. For this, I suggest you use a Google Maps tracking tool like this one. It's a really cool tool that doesn't just track your performance, but also gives you extra optimization tips powered by AI to help you climb higher on Google Maps. Well worth it.